Hi, first of all, and thank you everybody for coming. It depends on what you mean by writing. There are a lot of different kinds of writing. I don't, when I think of the kind of writing that I call literature, I don't in the same mental breath think about blogging. It's just different. It's just like, you know, there are painters who paint on canvas and there are painters who paint walls, solid colors, and they are working toward different ends and we don't usually think about them um, together. And I think it's dangerous to um, ever forget that literature is something that is um, at the risk of sounding overblown or pretentious. It's a rarefied thing. It means to be a rarefied thing. It's a precious thing. It is something that has greater value than other kinds of writing. It's something that we have to work harder to produce than other kinds of writing. So I don't think there's any reason to consider blogging or that kind of writing too much. I don't think there's any risk of it ever replacing or even um, becoming some kind of sibling to literature. But, um, but if I can add to that, how do you think we will, uh, if authors are shaping our identity or our souls, our visions of ourselves, and now they have to fight masses, millions of people doing the exact same thing, what will be their all the better. I mean, the more there is to resist, the better the writing will be. It's always true. It's why good writing always comes from bad places. And it's why um, it's often people who live on the peripheries that make the most important art. You know, jazz music is the only truly original American art form that was obviously an African-American invention. Art in the last three decades um, has been totally dominated in America by homosexual artists. Literature in the uh, middle of the last century was dominated by Jewish writers. It's not a coincidence. It's not that Jews are better writers or homosexuals are better artists. It's that necessity is the mother of invention. So when you find yourself with no other avenues of communication or maybe no other avenues of power, um, one, one tends to start inventing things. So I think that the more of the less valuable kind of writing there is, the more valuable literature will become. Um, but it's not to say that literature won't have to respond to what you're talking about. I mean, not, not only blogging, but the advent of um, e-books, you know, electronic books that people will, it seems inevitably one day carry around. Newspapers are, in a way, confronting this problem before novels are. Um, it's almost, they're like the canaries in the mine shaft, and they're telling us there's going to be a big problem ahead. Um, people have you know, already speculated the date that the last printed paper will ever arrive at somebody's doorstep. So what is a newspaper to do? I mean, there are all sorts of business models that they think about. How do we replace all of the advertising that we're losing to the internet? How do we um, maintain our topicality when you can go on a computer and find out what happened five minutes ago when you have to wait 24 hours for the next newspaper? I think what they will probably do is fall back into um, their, their physicality. You know, nothing will ever replace, I don't know if you have this phenomenon here, but in America we have the Sunday morning paper, which comes and it's like this thick, and it has inserts and magazines and color, a, a million little pieces, it's an embarrassment of riches every Sunday morning. And there's just nothing more pleasurable than having coffee and a bagel and just slowly moving through this newspaper. I think newspapers are going to become more like the Sunday papers, less about trying to tell you what happened five seconds ago because they can't possibly compete. And I think novels will probably do something similar. It may be that the form of books will become more, I mean, you remember there was a time when books, when manuscripts were illuminated and they were very beautiful objects. And then with the advent of you know, mass, mass production and you know, the ability to print things for everybody, uh, books became very, very cheap. But there's probably something in between that's more desirable. Um, 